My name is Baba Bertha and I'm here to introduce you to the awakening where the granddaughter takes you Oh, what's that flying at me? I'm always having things flying at me. Did you see that? Oh, that sign, it flew at me. Did you not see it? I didn't imagine it, did I? Anyway, uh, the granddaughter is here to take you from the dark into the light. That's what the awakening is. And I've got a nice uh, orange towel on today. She said it makes me more creative. So there you go. Anyway, enjoy the awakening. Do this. She wants me to tell you to do this and to click the bell underneath. Uh, I'm doing this because um, I want to put out the message like uh, Charlie Wood's little lad, Justin. I'm sorry if I'm not as, uh, as sweet as he is, but there you go. I'm doing my best. I'm Baba Berta and I'm the grandmother. And please enjoy my show as well. Baba Berta show coming today on uh, Moving On TV. Please subscribe, Moving On TV community. Oh, it's, it's terrible. And wherever you are in the world, have a lovely day. Uh, here, there and everywhere. Where we go on, we go all. Don't know why she makes me say it, but I have to say it. I do not consent. I do not know what I'm not consenting to, but there you go. Enjoy your day. Lots of love from Baba Berta. Goodbye. Hi guys, welcome to The Awakening. How are you today? Um, right, what am I going to talk about today? Today I'm going to talk about what I'm trying to get for you. Um, the information I'm trying to get for you. And I'm working with, um, I worked with Dr. So yesterday, did an uh, interview with him yesterday. And um, I'm hoping you're gonna watch it. It's a really, really mind blowing interview. Incredible interview, uh, very open-minded man. And I'm trying to bring you as much light as I can. So I'm going to be trying to get in touch with Melbourne. I've got family in Melbourne to try and pass on to you what is really going on with Melbourne? Um, rather than looking at what we're seeing in the media, what of course we don't believe, but what we're seeing on social media as well. I want to know exactly what's going on. So that's what I'm doing my best in order to stay in the light as much as possible. But so that keeps me excited and happy. I'm going to bring on Mike Shinton tomorrow. Back onto the uh, Hope Glory Productions, the positive news to tell us all the good stuff because I need to hear some good stuff. So if you've got anything positive, please bring it to me. But my priority at the moment is to get a UK doctor. You know, we need to get some UK doctors standing up the same way as we've got the frontline doctors in America because we know that this is not what we've been told. Now, the big interview that I did with Dr. Urso was around natural cures. And he was so open to all of this, which was exciting, because we all know if you've been involved like me with natural medicine for as long as I've been involved with natural medicine, you know that everything is preventable and curable. Everything, everything, everything. As long as you get that balance of the mind, the body and the spirit, you can heal everything and and i know it because i've done it and i teach others and you know and when this virus started um i spoke to enough people to know what to do to stay well so why are we not allowed to talk about it why are we not allowed to talk about it and where is dr urzo where's his surgery gone why is he not on twitter today i couldn't find him anywhere because he's telling the truth. Now, one of the things that my husband watched the awakening from yesterday and he felt that what I did was kind and compassionate because I was helping you guys to switch off from everything that's going on in the world. And tomorrow is a massive day of protests all across the UK. There's gonna be protests for the kids, protests for our rights, but you need to remember, yes, I'm, I, I, am, I am not telling you not to go, but I'm telling you to take a breath first and to figure out how you're going to get there. Is this going to be stressful? Um, can you do anything on, on, on the outside of it rather than actually being in London? See, I don't feel uh, healthy enough to go into London at the moment. 
but I am going to be working with Geza. I'll be calling him, I will be in touch with him if he, when he's in Downing Street to make sure everything's okay, to see if there's anything else I can do, maybe even interview him and send that out directly on Facebook. Anything that I can do to keep this rolling, I will do. I had a chat today with a friend that has very high blood pressure and I'm not feeling too good. The whole of my left side is playing up a lot with pressure and so I'm drinking a lot of my smoothies with garlic and breathing and doing my best to meditate. And um, if anybody knows what else they can do to keep me well if, with natural methods, let me know because um, those of you that are uh, know are not getting back to me. So I don't appreciate that, but never mind. Um, so what I'm trying to say here is um, you need to go with whatever you can, all right? So put yourself first before you put yourself under huge pressure. There's enough people that are already committed and they may be younger, they may be fitter, but they're going out there and they're pushing the message that we are doing. But me, I'm not well enough to do that tomorrow. I'm not well enough to actually go into London or to get to a protest. It's not going to be possible for me because of the family situation at the moment, which I can't go into too many details. My husband, we have to have the car. So unless someone's going to pick me up and take me, and there's no way I'm going on the tube and trains and putting myself under pressure and fear with all the lunatics with masks, and I'm just not going to do it. I'm protecting myself. And okay, the message today is be aware of your limitations. That's the message. Be aware of your limitations. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Make sure that if you're going to go to a protest, make sure that you have food, that you're hydrated because it's so warm. You know, in this heat, you need to be hydrated. Make sure that you have food. Make sure that you do the halts. Don't get too uh, hungry, angry, lonely. Or, well, you're not going to be lonely, obviously. But if anybody wants to help me to work for Moving On TV, if they're going to a protest and they can carry our message, I'd be very grateful. So I'm asking for that as well. Can you carry the message of Moving On TV to, for me tomorrow? Um, I'm going to do my best to be, on, to be there at some point for Gaza uh, another time in August. But as I say, it's not likely that it will happen this week. As I say, family pressures and the fact that I'm just not feeling well enough in myself. So as I say, there's a huge amount of people that are doing this and I'm digging and digging to find you. I'd rather dig to find out more truth. And I'm going to be doing an interview with Mike Shinton to give you more positivity. So I need to be able to give that to you. So today the awakening is about staying balanced and well as much as possible eating, drinking what you need to drink. And I'm going to do a Sri Baba card for you. Okay. If you're Leo, I've done the reading for this week and you need to rest. You need to self-nurture a lot this week. And there's a lot ending this week for you. And there are things coming to an end. Okay. And you probably already know what they are in the world, not just in the world, but it for you, Leo. Okay, so you need to look at that. It'd be good if you watch the tarot I've put out for Leo for this week. Things are coming to an end and you need to rest. Don't make big decisions because you're making them from here and not from here because there's been a lot of deception. But Sri Baba is both of them are upside down. <laughs> Choose friends who will be with you till the end. Okay, and unfortunately, the friends I chose cannot be bothered. They didn't even visit me when I was in a wheelchair. They're all stuck in their own lives. And the new friends that I'm bringing into my life, now the tribe, the awakened tribe, they're real friends. So choose friends, and I have them. That's why it's upside down. Choose friends who will be with you to the end. Unfortunately, I chose friends that are not there for me, do not support me, and do not support uh, what we're going through at the moment, particularly me and my husband with all the other pressures that we've got, they're not supporting us. 
the new friends that I'm bringing in, the tribe, those of you on the internet, you know who you are I'm talking to regularly, near enough, um, and one in Scotland, you are real friends, okay? So be careful who you choose. On this earthly journey, remember God. Again, it's upside down. So when we're going through the pressures that we're going through, we need to remember God, love. And I'm not talking about a religious God. As you know, I never do, and I never push that, because I know a lot of us have been hurt by the concept we were brought up to believe about what God is. To me, God is inside every one of you. Every single one of you is going to protest tomorrow and stand up for innocence and to take back our system is coming from here, okay? As long as you use common sense, self-nurturing and, and, and love each other and work together, you're all coming together. Where we go one, we go all. That power is coming together. The frontline doctors, that is God. They've had enough. They want to stand up for the human race. They're telling you the truth about this pandemic and it's time for people to realize that and so these are the things you need to do to stay strong uh, as i said choose your friends your friends that love you they will be loyal to you if you wear a mask or you don't or you agree or disagree they will still love you they will still love you and be there for you I know, guys, if you're awake, it's very hard to be around people that are not, again, that word awake, you know what it means. It's hard for you to be around people that won't listen. You know the truth and they're still calling you a conspiracy theorist. I know how hard that is. But when you come from love, which I find very difficult, and so I keep away from them. I just keep away from them and I protect myself. I'm hearing stories of friends of mine that are going shopping, not wearing a mask, and these lunatics are circling them, trying to psych them out. And my friend's just looking at them saying, your choice, not mine, go away. And that's it, that's all you've got to do. They'll learn, and they'll learn the hard way. They'll learn the hard way, it seems. That's it, there's nothing you can do. All right, and so, I'm going to pick a how to stay sane in a crazy world card for you now. But it's interesting. Choose your friends, guys, because when you're in trouble, throughout, when you're in trouble, and we are at war, and if anyone doesn't think we're at war, then they're fast, then they're not with it. They're not with the plan. How to stay sane in the crazy world. This is the biggest war we ever fought for humanity, to save humanity. It's huge. It's going to unearth everything. And it's going to show us the truth, the truth, the truth, which we're trying to do here on Moving On TV. Let people go. Oh my God, look about synchronicity. Let people go. What did I just say with Sri Baba? Choose friends who will be with you till the end. Leos, Leos, Leos. It's all about change and endings. Let people go. They're not your real friends. They're not your tribe. They're fake. They're not what you think they are. And I'm about to put down some very strong boundaries with some people. And they need to really, um, Tony Robbins used to say it, step up to the plate and be the real friend or else you let them go. Okay, let them go. Society, sorry, sanity has to be your first goal. You are stronger than you think. You chose this card for a reason. So who do you have to let go of? Who has let go of you? And you let them be. If you love something, let it go. And if it's meant to be, it will return. Let people go. Today you chose a card your intuition directed you to. I have had a belly full of so-called friends. I've had it with them. And so I'm letting them go. And I will be telling them soon. What my focus is, is on the people that are there for me and, and the people that are there for humanity in an honest way when you really, really need them. All right. And so, as I said to you, take care of yourself first, nurture yourself, have some blend jets. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm putting Baba Bertha on here first to make you laugh because I want you to laugh because then we put the serious stuff on. But first of all, you need to laugh. You need to do whatever is possible to stay sane. I love you lots. Take care, please. Keep in touch. Moving on TV1 at gmail.com. Subscribe, share, and like as you can see all the new things I'm doing here. Um, and the doctor's program, Dr. Rousseau, for the respect of that man, send it everywhere. Get his message out everywhere. Support Moving On TV. We're the new mainstream entertainment, comedy, everything we can bring to you. The dark, the light, the bits in between. And as I say, tomorrow, I'll be interviewing Mike Shinton, I can't wait, who's going to tell you all the good stuff. Uh, he's from Charlie Ward's gang, so I can't wait. And as I say, also, I'm looking for a UK doctor. Keep looking, keep pushing, keep sending me information. That is now. We've got to get that. And as soon as I've got some info from Melbourne, I'm keeping an eye here on my messengers. My messages. Uh, as soon as I have a message from Melbourne, I will pass that on to you guys about what's really happening in Australia right from my cousin's mouth. Okay, it's, so it's time to reconnect with them anyway, and I haven't got anything yet because it's too early in the morning. Another couple of hours. I'm interviewing David Nino Rodriguez tonight. One of the um, most famous, the famous boxer that came out against sex trafficking children. Uh, 1 a.m. in the morning here in the UK, <laughs> 7 p.m. for him. And that's it. I'm going to try and get the awakening on now as soon as possible. Love you lots. Take care. If you want to donate, it's paypal.me forward slash moving on.